Keep in mind, tomorrow night, the AHSAA Game of the Week, Opelika and Carver it is a 6A showdown. You can catch it right here on WOTM. Also, My 68 kickoff set for 7 o'clock. It is the AHSAA WOTM Game of the Week right here. Well, Mark, let's go over to the college football world. Let's go into our picks. Let's take a look at our picks from last week. It was a decent week for the both of us. You went 3-4. and four, I went 4-3. and three. You got Iowa, Texas A&M, and Kentucky. Meanwhile, I got Texas A&M, um, Mississippi State, as well as Kentucky. We also got Iowa together. Take a look at those, those picks from last week. The way we'll do this is we'll do it just straight up winners, but then we'll also pick one game that we like against the spread. Mm -hmm. So we'll take a look at what we did last week and overall. Like you, last week I went three and four. You went four and three. So we're both seven and seven yep. after 14 games going into this week. All right, so let's start with this week's picks. Our first four games of the slate will go with Alabama, Florida, Auburn, Penn State, Cincinnati, Indiana, and Virginia, North Carolina. Who do you like? Uh, I got Alabama, Auburn, Cincinnati, and North Carolina. I like Auburn. I like Penn State to beat Auburn, but I do think Auburn might be able to cover that five points. I do I think, think so. I think it's a, I think it's a lot uh, shorter uh, of a line there. Meanwhile, I also like Cincinnati to beat Indiana, and I like North Carolina at home there as well. Meanwhile, on the other side, the next three games we'll pick is Michigan State at Miami, Virginia Tech at West Virginia, and Arizona State at BYU. Who you like here? I like Michigan State. Uh, I like West Virginia. I like Arizona State. And, yeah, uh, so pick any game against the spread. Yep, and any of those games against the spread. Who you uh, like? Then I would go for uh, Arizona State. Uh, yep. that, was that, that's a pick -em game, I assume. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, good deal. So uh, you like Arizona State as a – as basically a pick 'em in that matchup, mm -hmm. it's a uh, you know what I, 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 I I'm kind of I'm kind of with you, but what I'm gonna go is I'm gonna go with Auburn on my tiebreaker game. Yeah. Meanwhile, I like Michigan State in this one as well, as well as uh, West Virginia. Yeah. I like West Virginia in that matchup, and then I like BYU at home against Arizona State. So we'll see how it all shakes out coming up next week. Let's quickly go to the NFL. Some Bama guys had really big days over the weekend. Oh, yeah. Tua Tagovailoa, Mac Jones, Devontae Smith, his first reception in the NFL as a touchdown. What kind of stuck out to you last week, and what do you expect from some of these Bama guys this week? Yeah, Damian Harris also had a great a great game, too, for um, for the Patriots, like you said, before he fumbled at the end of the game. Right. But um, I think a lot of these guys, there are questions about going into their pro career. Devontae Smith, is he... Uh, does he have enough weight to him? Mac Jones, can he do what he did uh, in the pros in college? He's, a, he's not, not have the, the time that he did at Alabama. Um, and Tua, is, can he stay healthy? Right. I think, uh, and Jay, Jalen Hurts, is, is he going to be able to uh, lead a team and be the number one guy? I think some of those questions are going to be interesting to see if they can continue the way they did in week one. Uh, Ruggs had a pretty good game. Uh, Jacobs, I think, you know, for the Raiders had a pretty good game. Raiders kind of, the Ravens played a great game on, on Monday night. Uh, so, and uh, Leatherwood as well for the Raiders. Mm -hmm. So, there, there's a lot of guys um, that have had good weeks in week one. Can they keep it up? It's going to be interesting for me to see if Tua can stay healthy uh, and uh, what kind of role Najee's going to have with the Steelers who, to me, had the upset of the week beating the Bills. Exactly. Final minute, final graphic here. Uh, notable games in, in the NFL coming up in week two. You don't got to pick all of them, but what will you keep your eye out on this week? Uh, Raiders at Steelers to see if, if the Steelers can keep up their consistency they showed. And if the Raiders, too, are going on the road after playing at home, uh, the Falcons and Buccaneers, I, I think uh, if Atlanta's going to be anything, they got to play better than they did against the Eagles. Uh, and the Chiefs and the Ravens, what a game on Monday night between the Raiders and the Ravens. Uh, the Chiefs being at Baltimore, I think uh, that's an upset. I think Baltimore can pull having lo lost in week one. I like Baltimore, too. I, I Chiefs, though, it's one of those things where I, I really think that they're a fantastic football team. I like the Eagles to possibly pull the upset over the San Francisco 49ers. And the Patriots and the Jets, always a, a heartbreaking game for me <laughs> in my life. Um, there was one time where Brady had more touchdown passes in the last 10 years than the, the Jets had since 1989. Oh, I like it. Ugh. I like the Patriots in that matchup. I like Mac Jones to get his first win in the NFL. Thank you so much for joining us. Keep in mind the WOTM HSA Game of the Week comes your way tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. We'll see you next week right here on Overtime.